Hi, it's Adam with webstarts.com. In this short video, I'm going to show you how to create a responsive web design using webstarts. A responsive design is one where your content adapts to the width of your browser. So here you can see that as I narrow and increase the width of my browser, my content rearranges to look its best. The idea being that your website will look great on a desktop computer, laptop, tablet, as well as a mobile phone. Let's dive into Web Starts and see how I created this. If it's your first time using Web Starts, go to webstarts.com, click on Get Started, it's free. It's totally free to sign up and create an account. And once you do that, you'll want to log in. Once you're logged into Web Starts, you'll be in the dashboard view. Hover over the thumbnail of your website and click Edit Site to load the page editor. To be creating our responsive website, we'll be using what's called a strip with columns. And we'll be adding that to both the header and the footer of our web pages. To do this, go ahead and click on add, go down to strip, and drag a strip onto the page of your website. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add a second column to the strip. And in order to do that, we click on the settings icon and then click the add column button. Next we're going to drag these strip with column to our header and place them over our business name and our menu. Now we want this to be in the back so I'm going to click on arrange layer and send to back and next I'm going to drag my logo and my business name and my menu until it says that it's attaching to the columns because we want our page elements attached to these columns. Now since we want our business logo and name to remain in the top left and our menu to always remain in the top right of our responsive design, what we're going to want to do is select this column with strip, select each individual column, and then for our column number one, we're going to want to align the design elements to the left of the column. That will keep them always a certain distance off the left-hand side of the page. Next, we're gonna select column two and we're gonna align that to the right. And that's gonna keep our menu just a little bit off of the page, regardless of the page width. When we save our changes, view our live website, we should be able to see that uh, we keep our distance in that header. Now, the way that we're going to make this across our website is we're gonna scroll down to the bottom of our page, the footer, and we're gonna do the exact same process. So here we're in our footer and we're gonna go through these steps again. We're gonna start by clicking on add, dragging the strip, uh, adding the strip to the uh, footer, and then sending that strip to the back so that it's behind our other page elements and then also adding that second column to our strip and then dragging each of the elements into the columns just like so and you can see that it's indicating that it's attaching to each of the columns and then selecting the individual columns for example the column on the left and selecting the option to justify it to the left and then justifying the right column to the right and then once again saving our pages so now with our header and our footer both in this uh, responsive state where um, all the time these logos and the the information and the header and footer uh, are going to expand with the page we can go in and add whatever content we like to the body of the page we can add more strips that have some responsive content in it like this but even if we just place some elements in our page and we don't use a column with strips it usually still looks pretty good it just won't expand as we expand the width of that page so in other words if this was a very wide page these icons wouldn't be far far apart they would just stay the same distance apart as they are in this view that we're looking at here
Well, that's it for creating a responsive design using WebStarts. Hope you enjoyed the video. Once again, don't forget to visit webstarts.com, subscribe and enable notifications, and I'll see you next time.